Hello, and welcome back to another edition of All or Not According to Jack with your host, Jack Toledano. Now, I know uh, I didn't give you an episode of Dream Set List last week. Uh, unfortunately, I was upstate at my upstate home and away from my studio, and uh, I was just, you know, tired, run down, uh, ill a few days last week, so, but feeling better, I'm back. And uh, full recording mode. So tonight we have a dream set list. And I was supposed to have a guest this week. But uh, that's been pushed to a little bit later this week. I am still going to have that guest. Uh, probably going to record Tuesday night. And uh, I'll broadcast it, I don't know, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll see. But uh, you get two uh, dream set lists this week. So uh, this one. Uh, and I have a very sad story to tell you folks. Um, so there's this band that I really like, and they're only playing one area appearance in the New York area come uh, Thanksgiving time. Uh, their their main uh, audience is over in Europe. They got a full tour over in Europe, uh, but they have one show in Brooklyn, New York, uh, I don't know, uh, right after Thanksgiving, I think uh, the day after Black Friday. So, and I looked at tickets, I really wanted to go, but they are going for like 700 freaking dollars. Uh, I'm talking uh, almost uh, Taylor Swift type money. Uh, I wouldn't pay a, a plug nickel to see her, but uh, if I were a rich man, if I were a rich man, Da, 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 I would go, I would go see Man of War in a New York minute. So, yes, Man of War. Uh, for all of those Man of Warriors out there, I love these guys. I've loved them ever since I uh, I was at a flea market at the Belmore uh, uh, Long Island uh, Railroad. Uh, stop uh, in the parking lot. They had this, uh, you know, they do them in the summer. And like every Sunday, they had these flea markets, and uh, there was a used copy of a Man of War album, which I will get to, that I bought, and I was smitten right away. Uh, funny thing is, I had already known Hammerfall, and but I didn't realize that uh, they were very similar to Man of War. And uh, as soon as I heard Man of War, uh, love it first listen so tonight uh so i by the way i have my future son-in-law george uh looking for tickets for me because he's good at t getting tickets for cheap uh who knows i might have to wait till november hopefully somebody had a had a you know change in their itinerary that they couldn't go so they had to sell them and I don't know, maybe the market will get better, but fingers crossed. But all else fails, I have this Man of War Dream set list for you. And this encompasses all of their albums. I believe they have three, six, nine. They have 11 studio albums. Um, from Battle Hymns to The Lord of Steel in 2012 was their last album. Uh, there are no uh, time machines here. This is every one of their albums that I'm going to give you. There will be two set sets. So I know I prefer to do two sets, but they will not be very long sets. There'll be sets of about 55 minutes, and then there'll be about a 15, 20 minute intermission. Uh, then there will be another set of about 55 minutes. And then... There will be about a 17 minute encore. So, okay, so let's share the screen. You've seen my uh, my Man of War. Uh, you've seen my other dream set lists on Spotify. Um, so first song is a song that I absolutely freaking love. Uh, hang on. We're going to have to stop share for a moment. Of course, dummy me, I forgot to uh, 
uh, enable it for sound. So commercial break. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, folks. One of these days I'll learn. Okay, so kicks off something like this. I love this freaking song. Let's go right to the chorus if I can find it. Okay, you get the gist. Song number two, Call to Arms, another great song. Song number three, uh, and this was the album that I bought at, uh, at the uh, flea market that time, Kings of Metal. Fell in love with that album. And this song is one of the reasons. So, uh, we're going to you know, talk over this. This is a very mellow opening. Oh, come on, hurry up. So you think this is mellow, but then this goes from like zero to 150 in a matter of, of a minute. I did write down the I did write down the minute marker, so let's go to it. I love that. Okay, you get the idea. Song number four, Army of the Immortals. Uh, I wanted, I had to get a song from Hail to England in there. So Army of the Immortals was chosen. Title track from Fighting the World at number five. Number six, Fast Taker off of Battle Hymns. Uh, I wanted, to, at first, my first stab at this, I didn't have any songs off of Battle Hymns, but now I have two. We'll get to the other one a little later. Spirit Horse of the Cherokee. I love this song. It's very spiritual. Love that whistle. That coyote or wolf in the distance. Then you have the, uh, uh, I guess, the, the medicine man or the holy man speaking in either, I don't know, uh, Cherokee or Lakota, maybe Navajo. I love that. So wonderful. Okay, so song number eight. Black Wind, Fire and Steel, bringing you back into the fold. Nine, King of Kings off of Gods of War. Song number 10 is uh, The Sons of Odin, probably my favorite song off of Gods of War. Song number 11, uh, the finale of uh, set number one, Kingdom Come. Set number two, Return of the Warlord. Freaking love this song. Freaking, freaking love it. Off of an equally great album, Louder Than Hell. Oh my god. Where is the other? On the walls of steel I ride. 
Come on, gotta get to the chorus. There we go. No one controls our goddamn lives. Oh, love that. Great opening to the second set. Oh, amazing, amazing song. Uh, back to Battle Hymns for Metal Days. Another great song. Third song of the second set, Blow Your Speakers. I love to blow these speakers. Okay, so what do we got next? The Oath off of Sign of the Hammer. Metal Warriors off of Triumph of Steel. Gates of Valhalla. Kings of Metal, another great song off of title track. Gods of War, title track off of Gods of War. Um, what do we got? The Lord of Steel, another great tune. No bad ones. Death to false metal, folks. The gods made heavy metal. Yes, they did. And uh, we end the uh, second set with Brothers of Metal. So they leave for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes? No, maybe five minutes. They had their 20-minute break in between sets, so they make us wait about five minutes. Then they come out fight until we die second die for metal last song off of gods of war song that had nothing to do with the theme of uh you know the sons of odin and norse mythology and of course the song that uh probably one of my favorite hammer uh, hammerfall the man of war songs Blood of the Kings. Now it's the uh, it's the ending of this song that uh, they I don't know. It's like a two minute ending. Goes something like this. And then it goes on. Same in the concert. A lot of explosions happening. Got to get a little more of that. One. They throw some picks out into the audience. Uh, say their good nights. Um, what I didn't tell you is uh, the venue. We're going to pretend that this is the uh, Brooklyn Theater venue um, coming up in November. So this is actually uh, a dream set list in the future. Uh, I would love it if you guys added some more shows. Please add more shows or come back to the States. I, I cannot go to my dying, my deathbed without having seen you guys at least once. So do me that favor. <sighs> Great show. Mana Warriors. This is Jack Toldano uh, speaking for all or not according to Jack. If you, oops, if you see right over here is my new um, uh, business card. This is going to, I'm going to try and have this in all of my um, videos from now on. And if I see you at a concert, you know, maybe uh, I'll, I'll be happy to hand some out. So, Again, Jack Toldano speaking for All or Not, according to Jack. If you like what I do, please subscribe. Please like, hit the like button, the subscribe button. Please tell your friends about me. Uh, later this week, I have uh, another Dream Set List coming up. And it will be with a guest. Uh, and this guest has been on before. That's the only hint that I'm going to give you. Uh, I do have... Uh, a few guests lined up, so stay tuned. Keep coming back and watching. Uh, if you like these dream set lists, please go back and watch the other ones. I, I do. I did 
set it up as a playlist so you can watch them all if you like. Um, I tried to give you them in a slightly different format than uh, the way uh, my good friend Pete Pardo did. So give you a little uh, something different. So again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you at the next one. Bye.